Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a cruelty YouTuber that's trying to have a year-long no-buy and it feels like I'm sitting a little bit off. And today I'm going to do a video where I talk about my holy grail, my old holy grail products and what I have changed them out with. I don't know if you're going to think this is a fun video, but like I have been having my YouTube makeup channel for four years and I have changed my mind. I have changed my preference, I am four years older, I've tried more things, so I thought that I want to do an updated holy grail. And this is mostly like base products and products that you actually don't see that often on my channel because like I have one eyeshadow palette, um, but I have over 120 eyeshadow palettes and I think it's so fun, like, so fun, it's so hard, like, to have a holy grail when it comes to uh, different color palettes. So I am taking my, you already know which palette I'm going to talk about, my neutral holy grail palette, and then I have powders, blushes, highlighters, some brushes. So I think we're just going to go into this and I hope that you think this is going to be fun. So first off, I do not have any like primer, foundations, concealers because I, if I'm going to be honest, like I change foundations often. Like right now, I am using this one, the Fresh Noon Foundation from The Body Shop. I do really like it. Is it my new holy grail? I don't think so. And there have been other foundations that I have had as holy grails, but um, I don't have like a new one and I didn't want to talk only about one foundation. So I'm going to skip foundations and also concealers. I don't think I have found my perfect match when it comes to concealers. I have some that I do really love. I do like the one that I have now, the Nabla one, but it's not like a holy grail. So I'm going to skip that. I'm going to skip primers because primers, I think it depends on what foundation I have. So I guess we can go into powders. And here I have two different powders. I have one under eye powder and one face powder. So I thought that we can start with the under eye powder and this is not the right container, but before it was the RCMA's no filter powder, you know, that came in a super big uh, jar. Uh, I took it in this one because I had a other powder that was empty. I did love this to have underneath my eyes, but I don't know if it is because I'm older. But I don't think it looks good anymore underneath my eyes. I think it looks like, I don't know, it's not good. So I've actually changed it to uh, this one, the Infinity Filter by LH Cosmetics in the color light. And I don't know if you can see this, but this is almost, it's almost empty. And I think that I want to buy a new one of these when this is empty. I can't use this on my face because it messes with my foundation or all the foundations I've tried with this, it messes with them, but on my concealer this is amazing and this is 9 grams, 1.32 ounces. I'm never going to learn ounces and pounds and stones and everything. But 9 grams and I think that this is this is amazing. It has worked with every concealer that I have had and it feels like really smooth underneath my eyes and it doesn't mess with any concealer that I have. So this is my new holy grail under eye setting powder. And this is not supposed to be an under eye setting powder, but for me it works perfect. Then we can talk about the face powder. I have always, I am dry. And I have always been like, loose powder is the best. And I have been loving this one for years. This is my second one and this I think I should maybe throw it away because it's kind of old. This is from Lumiene, it's their translucent Nordic Chic Sheer Finishing Loose Powder. It's a normal like loose powder with no color at all. I don't like how this looks on my skin anymore. Now I haven't used it for a couple of maybe a year or something but 
at some point it didn't work as good on my skin and I didn't think it looked that good so I wanted to try a new one. <laughs> I guess you all know which one is my favorite powder, my holy grail. It's the Nubla one. And I did test this because one Instagram that I follow that has a dry skin did love this. And usually setting powder and this is like a smoothing pressed powder. I think it's not even supposed to be for dry skin. She used this and I tried it and I love this. This is one of the best powders I have ever tried. It has, it looks a little bit shady because I repressed it because it was just a rim. So this is not that much left and I love this one. This is amazing. It looks good. It doesn't like, it sets my foundation but it doesn't dry me down and I think it's smoothing my face really good and I do really love it and I love to have this on like a foundation or a skin tint. It looks amazing on a skin tint. This has a little bit of color. It's light and I, I just love this. This is the best powder I have ever tried and it is a pressed powder. I didn't thought that was possible with my dry skin but apparently Nabla did make it. Then I am going to go into contour and my old holy grail I don't have it anymore because I did decluttering it but it was I can put a picture here it was a shade from the NYX contour pro NYX contour pro palette Con contour NYX palette pro pro yeah, this palette and I did love this I can't remember the shade name I can find it um I love that one. Um, I didn't pan it, but I think I was really close because you could start to see like the pattern from the pan. I did love it so, so much. And uh, then I found something new. And I guess you all know which one it is. It's of course Ombra from Nabla. This is a con now a bronzing, but I... It works really good as a contour for me. I have it on today and this is amazing. These skin glazing products they have, they are like a little bit bouncy. They are not like, it's not a cream, like not at all a cream, but it's not like a powder powder. It is a little bit bouncy and this isn't that pigmented and it just works amazing. I love this one so, so much. It's one that I use 98% of the time. Sometimes I use a contour stick, but this is the best. It works every time. I love it so, so much and it's just an amazing contour shade for me. When it comes to blush, if you have been on my channel for a while, I guess you know which blush has been my absolute favorite for such a long time. I've talked about this in so many like yearly favorites and it has been the love of my life at one point and it's Down Boy from The Balm. I remember like in Sweden, maybe it was like five or six years ago, The Balm was the shit everybody i think it maybe was when the bomb came to sweden and people like raved about it people loved everything from the bomb and uh, i got this from a friend that i met for youtube we did uh, makeup swap we, we sent each other gifts and made a video about it and she give gave me this one and this has been my absolute favorite blush forever. And I like don't know how much product it is in this one. But I think it's a lot because it's really, really big. And yeah. Yeah, 9.9 .9 grams. I've been loving this. I have used it so much. And at one point it was like the only blush that I did ever use. And... Uh, it has been my favorite blush and I know I should decluttering it, I can't, I still use it sometimes, but I have another blush that I love more and it's from Melt. This is 
what is it even called? Digital Dust Duo Blush, and I have it in Buzzkill. And it's Buzz, this one. It's an amazing blush. It's shimmery and it's like gold to it. I just, I love it so so much. It works if I want some full, if I want like full glam. It works if I just want an easy base. And this is the blush that I I mostly use it when I'm just doing a base makeup. Um, but this is the blush I take with me if I go somewhere. The only thing that makes me a little bit sad. I don't know if you can see, but it was like a really nice bee in here. I think they can see it, but it's not that like visible anymore and that makes me a little bit sad. And also like this highlight the shade is a little bit too dark for me. It works, but it's not perfect. But yeah, this is my absolute favorite blush that I have in my collection. I don't use it that often on YouTube, but outside of YouTube. It's like the only blush that I ever use. I sometimes use it on camera as well, but this is amazing. I wish that it wasn't a duo that I only could buy the blush, but it is what it is. Then we can take a an highlighter, and I guess you know which one is my favorite highlighter now, but my old holy grail highlighter was this one from Nabla. This is Baby Glow, and as you can see, I have used it quite a lot and I I think I got this one in like a su subscription box. I think so and I was like Nabla what is that for kind of brand and then I used it and then I love it and this is one. This blush is this blush. This highlighter is amazing. It is not too much, it's not too little. It works just perfect and I love it. It looks so so good. But after this, a couple of years, Nabla came out with a new highlighter, the Ozone. And this, this is my favorite blush. I, why do I say blush all the time? My favorite highlighter, it's Ozone. I love this so, so much. This was so hard to get a hand off. Uh, in the beginning, it sold out like right away. It came in, it sold out both on like, Beauty Bay and on Nabla and I finally got it and I love it so so much and this is the best the best highlighter I have a glass with a glass straw that I don't keep hitting this is the best highlighter I know and I have so many videos where I've used this like just go to my YouTube page and search on Ozone and it's going to be like almost all of my videos I have because this one, it's the best. It was the best last year, it's going to be the best highlighter this year. This is the best highlighter of all times. I love it. It is amazing. I just wish though, even though I love this so so much, I wish that they would have done one more color that I can use because I think the other ones are going to be too dark for me but this is perfect. It works with everything. Nabla, they're like really the best ever, in my opinion, to do both blushes and highlighters. They always do amazing and they have like a lot of colors. They have shimmery ones, they have more matte ones and they're just so so good and I love that also. Should we maybe go into brushes? Because I am going to show you powder brushes and a highlighter brush. We can start with the powder brush and uh, this was my favorite for so many years. I have loved this powder brush so, so much. It was one of the first powder brushes I ever did buy. And it is the Real Techniques. This looks kind of disgusting because it's so old. And uh, I have loved this. I... This was like the... F I think it was the first like real powder brushes when I really wanted to start to use powders that I bought and I love it and I tried others and it took a really long while before I found something that was as good as this one. But I did and I have changed this out for this one. This is like the biggest powder brush I have ever seen. But I love this. This is from a Swedish brand called Flare. This is their Jumbo 
part of the brush. This is so soft, but it's not like too soft. And it's a little bit, I don't know if you can see it. It's a little bit like pointy, but not too much. And it is just so big. And I guess that people can think that this is too big. I, I think it's just perfect. It's like perfect. I just love this. I love it so, so much. And maybe it's a little bit scary big, but if there's one thing I do love, it's big powder brushes. And I thought like this was big. You see? See the difference? This is still a good powder brush, I think. It's a little bit stiffer than this one. I think this is still good, but nothing can beat this one. Um, I love it so, so much. So if you have never tried like this kind of a big powder brush, do it. And this works really good with both um, pressed powder and loose powder. I love it. And then we can talk about the highlighter brushes. Uh, that is not a big ca category for me. I have three different, four, three, four, five. <laughs> Maybe that is a big category, but I have always loved this one from LH Cosmetics. This is the 306. I think this has been one of the most popular brushes from LH Cosmetics for a really long time. It is really good. It's how it works with so many different highlighters. I think it's the perfect size and it is a little bit like stiff, but it's not too stiff and it's a little bit fluffy, but not like too fluffy. I have always loved this and I do still really really like it but if I have to choose one highlighter brush I'm going to choose this one now. This is the one from Nabla and I think it's just called highlighter brush and this is amazing. This is really really <laughs> weak. It's, it's like it's really really soft. Weak. It's really really soft and it is really pointy and it's a bit like I don't know if I should call it stripey, but like a little bit whimsy maybe, but this is amazing. I thought that I didn't was going to like this one, but I bought it because I've seen people that have really been loving this and have like recommended it as the best highlight brush, and it is. The thing I love the most about this is it's possible to like build up a highlighter. I guess it's because it's so flimsy and it doesn't give you like a BAM highlighter with one stroke, which I do love. I think this is really really good and if you want a little bit more of a easier highlighter brush to work with that doesn't pack on your highlighter that much, I would recommend this. It's it's really really light. It's like it weighs nothing. If I compare it to this one, this is like air. But it's so good. I love it so so much. And especially together with Nabla's own highlighters, it's amazing. Then I thought I can do talk about eye pens. I have loved the LH Cosmetics pens, both their colorful, the neutral. I have loved them, but like the only eye pens I use right now is Colourpop. The only thing with Colourpop is I have quite a few from Colourpop. I think I have maybe like 20. Some of them are amazing. Like this one in Honey Dude, this I use a lot. It is amazing. It's like, in, it just gives something to my eyes. And the pastels I have, like Amethyst Hour and Peach Fuzz, I love them as well. And I love the yellow one. Some of them are really good. They are really creamy and so easy to work with. Some of them just dry up in like a month. But some of them are amazing. And like, what is it even called? I have another one that I really do love. Wildcat. It's amazing and punch is really good then I have some that are really shit maybe I've thrown them away yeah I think this one's Sulu no it's not Sulu 
I had one. This was so bad. It like dried up in a month. But I still see these as my holy grails when it comes to eye pants because they are so good and they are not expensive at all. So if it dry up, it dry up. Then lips. I'm soon done. <laughs> lips. I have, as you know, I, I do love the Nabla ones, but there is one lipstick that I have used so much on a daily basis almost. Or when I just want something on my lips when I'm going out. And it is the Fantastic from LH Cosmetics in Pink Opal. It looks a little bit beat up. This is like my lips, but better. And this has been my favorite everyday lipstick for a long, long time. But then, LH Cosmetics came out with lip glosses. And I know. I am not a lip gloss person, I know that, you do not need to tell me, I already know that, that I've never liked lip glosses. But then I tried these ones, I love it. Uh, this is my favorite color, it's the Mellow Mauve. I use it like some days to work, some days when I'm going out and eat, some days when I just want something on my lips and give them a little bit of colors. This is like my holy grail lip product and it feels like such a long way from where I were five years ago. Then it was all matte liquid lipsticks and now I am loving a gloss and the nudish gloss. That is a thing that I've noticed when I have some lip glosses but like nude lip glosses is really my thing. I don't like the ones that have really much color because when I'm having a lip gloss, I don't want it to show that I have... I, I don't know. I, I just do love this one and it's the best lip product I know. The only thing I don't know with this, I don't know if it's starting to run out, but it's so hard to get something out. I don't know if it's clogging or if it's running out and it's air in it. I don't know, but I love this one the best lip product I have. Then eyeshadow palettes and I think that you know which one is my holy grail right now and you might know which one is my old holy grail. The old holy grail is the soft glam and I did a video with this not that long ago when I had my throwback week and this is an amazing palette. It still is an amazing palette and this would have been the palette that I have would choose if I like, pick your favorite palette. This would have been the one a couple of years ago. But now, it's not this one anymore. Should I just show it and be done? This is a side-by-side -side by Nobla. I keep nagging on about this. This is my favorite hi highlighter palette. Now I say highlighter. This is my favorite eyeshadow palette in my collection. I love this one. This is one of my most used palette and I I just think this is perfect. It's what I use nine times out of ten when I'm just going to have some eyeshadow on. And yeah, that was all my new holy grails and which one I have. My old holy grail. This was my holy grail video <laughs> where I sh Jeez. Okay, that was all for this video. So these are my old holy grails and which one that I have changed them out with. I do hope that you have liked this video. I think it's so fun to do throwback videos and I hope that you like to watch them as well. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!